So, hello everyone. As you know, my name is uh, Jerry Aziawa. I work for East West and Central Africa. So, we are going to talk about the attendance, what we have done so far. So, the aim here was to make sure that we had a system that was uh, speaking to, the, to all the stakeholders of the education system, meaning uh, the central level, the operational level, and uh, I would say service provider level. So what Halifa presented was uh, kind of a present, uh, it was a presentation of the journey so far. So let, me, let me show you how the application works. Is that okay? Good. So um, I'm just going to show my uh, moment, please. Okay. So you have here, uh, how do you call it? the app, so it's an Android app you just install on your phone. You don't need internet to actually install. We can just get the, the installation file and just install it. So the aim is to avoid using internet. Good, thank you very much. Oopsie. Okay, it's fine now. I hope they see my screen. Good. So I'm just going to reduce this thing. Close this. Okay. So what we have here is actually the interface. You can just install it without using internet, so you can just have the installation file. That's what we did for the schools. And then from there, they can just select their schools, okay? So I'm starting from the beginning from our phrase. So for instance, I select the Gambia, I select the region, and I select the district, for instance, and then I select um, the school, okay? And then I add the school. So I have the possibility to add a lot of schools here. But in this case, I'm just going to stick to one school. But you can, like, if you want, for instance, you, have, you take attendance for three schools, you can actually add all those three schools. So I just validate this. So up to now, there's no internet use, okay? For security reasons, you have to type a code pin, okay? So I'm just going to type a code pin for confirmation because here you don't actually have a login credential, okay? So you use a code pin uh, to block the system, okay? So what happens here is that you actually enter the data, okay? So I'll select the school, and then I'll select the attendance. So for morning attendance, for instance. And then from there, I just pick the date. So today's date, for instance. I just pick today's date, and I start entering the data. Okay? So maybe teachers present on time, 23, teachers absent. Okay? With permission, without permission. Okay? So those are the informations that we have. I'm not going to dwell into this. I'm just going to give you a, a quick uh, intro on it. But uh, during the, how do you call it, the, um, the expert launch, we're going to go into details into it, okay, and the technology used. So for instance, I have the teachers that are late, uh, who came after 30 minutes, two, the number that came before 30 minutes, three, female teachers, for instance, 12, okay? And then number of uh, students present, maybe 1,200, okay? And then the ones that are absent, two, okay? So with that, I've been able to enter the data. So then again, I need to actually send the data. So I can click on the send message, okay? And then I have two options. First is send via SMS. So you don't use internet, you send the data via SMS, okay? Or I can just save. When I send the data via SMS, it will still save, but it will send it to the, to the system. Is that okay? To the national system. But in my case, I just want to save. If I save, I can use that for, for analytics. So I can analyze the data uh, with my, my mobile phone, okay? We're still not using internet. So uh, let me go back and enter another date. So I just come here and pick another date, for instance, okay? 
So I have the possibility to pick another date. Maybe I haven't been able to enter attendance for Friday. So I just click on Friday and then put the same values, 23, uh, 2, 2, OK. I'm in a bit in a, I have a time constraint, so I'm just going to be a bit fast, OK? And then, uh, sorry, and then maybe two. And then I save it, OK? So I have the possibility to backlog or send, uh, enter previous data as well, just that I cannot predict the future, so I cannot enter data for previous, uh, I mean, uh, upcoming dates, OK? So I have here the possibility to check the logs individually. But what is more important for me here is to show the possibility to analyze the data. So I can just pick daily, OK, and then pick a date. So I want to see indicators locally, for instance. So I click on OK here, and I have a kind of a red or pink button here, I click on it, and then I see all the indicators. So for instance, I have the percentage of staff present, the percentage of staff absent, uh, the percentage that are, uh, that are absent with permission, without permission. Those are actually analytics that we got from the, the people from the ground, from the teachers. This is something they always present. So we went there, we asked them, what do you actually want to have as an output. And they gave us that list. And then we also saw what they had on their walls. So we use that to have like local analytics that they can use. So they can actually have the possibility to have this data available. Now, they have the possibility to share it, OK? Uh, they can share it via WhatsApp, but they also can share it via mail and so on and so forth. And uh, they can also print it. So if you print it, it will come as a, as a PDF, OK, that you can use, for instance, if you want to. You can print it on a wall, for instance, OK? So it's actually bringing um, the local analytic. And still, we are not using internet. So the advantage here is that people, uh, places where you don't have internet, you can at least do some analytics with your data, OK? So for instance, I can also go back, for instance, and check monthly data, OK? And then I'll say for May, OK? And then still write this. And then I have the data, the average value for May, including trends. So the aim here is to make sure that they can actually analyze the data locally first, OK? but. As we said, we want to make sure that they, are, they have this possibility of making or taking decisions or acting upon data that they have, but also sending the data to the national level because people from the national level also want to see the data for analysis. But at their local level, they are still have the possibility to enter the data. Now, this is just a quick uh, information. So you have settings here whereby you can change the pin code, OK? You can add a new school, for instance, if there's a need to add a new school. Or you can start from afresh when I click on Clear Database. I'll talk about all that in details, just that you have some settings that you can use, for instance. So for instance, if I want to add a new school, I just can click on Manage School and add that new school. So it's not only in the beginning that you need to specify all the schools. If, for instance, you have a new school that you need to work on, you just need to uh, add that school, uh, for instance, here, and then off you go. Um, so I'll just pick the school, OK? Then I'll click on Add, OK? And then I validate. And then that school also is added. So in order to make sure that uh, it's me, it will add a PIN code. So all the uh, like key decisions here are actually, uh, how do you call it? Uh, you need a PIN code to actually validate your action. OK, so this is uh, the Android side, OK? Now, what happens usually, uh, so luckily I have it here as well. So what happens usually is that data is sent. So this is a production instance. Uh, they haven't sent the data yet, because uh, I think it should be 10 
in, in Banjul at the moment. So they are not sending the data yet for today. So we don't have enough data. But what you can realize is that uh, we have, how do you call it, two main dashboards. So the first one is the one that the team usually use to monitor. So they do that to actually monitor attendance if people have been sending the data. So each time they send the data, we actually have a completeness rate. So to check if people have been entering the data. So if you see from the previous slide from Halifa, you see that it's all green, meaning people have been sending the data regularly. And like I said, this is live data, so we still don't have enough data. However, this is actually what we use for reporting. So you have reporting rates, you have the trend, and then you have here red, red, because they haven't started for this week. And then you also have data for last week. So what happens is that the team uses this to actually monitor attendance. So this is for the last 14 days, for instance. So they monitor attendance. They know the regions that have been entering the data or sending the data. So they call them. They have WhatsApp group to actually check and send them those information to say, please check what is happening. Why is it that you have uh, low completeness? So with this, they are able to monitor completeness. And if they have completeness, then they can analyze the data and make good decisions based on it. So based on that, we have the attendance analysis uh, dashboard, whereby we actually show what is happening in the country. So we actually see the data related to, um, how do you call it? Related, for instance, uh, this week. So this is the current data that they have sent. Okay, so some are sending the data. So based on that, we actually have, uh, how do you call it? Uh, the data available and then the indicators that uh, need to be monitored are here. Mind you, all those uh, indicators that you see here, most of them are, are there locally. So the, the schools can actually see that data for analysis and for the national level, they can also have this data available. Now, note that these dashboards are not cast into stone, meaning if there is a need to change things, they can add new uh, indicators or new dimensions to it, okay? So that is one thing. Then maybe I'll just quickly show this. Um, I think Khalifa had a, a presentation on this. So this is where we actually monitor, for instance, if um, um, teachers are having challenges we have this platform whereby we see the ones that are having errors. So we can have their number here, and with that we can call them if, because we know if they have been sending the data or if there's an error, we can actually get that. And then from there, we can, uh, 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 how do you call it? We can even filter and get the ones only that have errors. And then from there we can call them and say, okay, you're having an error, maybe it's because of this, so we help troubleshoot. So if they have a problem, they also call the team, and based on this platform, they know what is actually happening, and they help troubleshoot. So the, here it's just a way of interacting with the team to actually make sure that the system is up and running, because this system is actually regularly, um, um, I mean, at the higher level, they actually consult the dashboards. So um, when there is a challenge, we, they get feedback from the, t the higher level, and that, did, that feedback is sent to the lower level, whereby they, we ask them what's the problem. And if there's a problem, they give us a feedback, we try to troubleshoot. So there's been a, a back and forth, a lot of feedback from the lower level to the higher level if there's a challenge. And from the higher level, when they see something is wrong, they can monitor and inform the, the operational level to, to actually check with the schools what is happening, okay? So basically, that's the way we've been working. So far, so good. As we say, uh, we've been able to have a system that has been up and running. We've been able to have teachers that have been engaged in entering the data. They didn't have issues with using the system for now. And uh, uh, data has been sent to the national level with high completeness rate. So with, it, uh, with this, I end with my presentation. I think if you, have, you need more details, just come to the expert lunch. Okay, thank you very much.